Three times a week, EA is kind enough to release some new cards. Every week we see around 40 different cards released across the Hockey Ultimate team, and most of the time we only look at the stats and move on. But today we are going to change it. Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 1 to the new YouTube series called Budget Beasts. Something I started already to do at the end of the NHL 24 and I decided, you know what, it's time for it to come back. So let me explain what all this is about. Most of the time we only focus on master set item players and every other card released by EA is just a charity or a team team card. Every episode I will pick 3 random players for each position, one forward, one defenseman and one goalie. We have a budget of 300k coins and we are on a mission to find the best card some people may miss, starting from the base all the way to the team of the week or event cards. Once I pick all three players, I will play some rival games just to share my honest opinion about the actual cards, what I like, what I don't like. I also will try to activate every single ability if they will have some, just to see if they're making any impact. So basically what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to find the best and cheapest cards in the NHL 25. Now when we know what it is all about, if you believe there are any cards I should be trying out in this budget range, let me know down in the comment sections below and if any of the players will actually be good and I will believe that they are actually worth trying out, I may put them in the next episode. We will release one episode each Sunday where we will get to the point where basically I will be reviewing the cards from the previous content drops let's say in the last 7 days. At the moment there are so many cards I want to try out and today I think I found really good ones. All 3 players I picked for today will be the left handed players so I will start putting some filters on and I will start with my goalkeeper. At the moment I really don't want to try out any cards lower than 83 overall because I just don't think there are any good cards actually out there. If you believe then there are, let me know down in the comment sections below, but at the moment we have a filter for a goalie between 83 and 86 overall and the maximum buy now range is 100k. I would not like to spend more than 100k on an each player, but you know, if I let's say find a very cheap goalie, I can overspend on a defenseman or a forward. As far as I'm not spending more than 300k coins in one episode, I think we are good. Ukopeka Lukonen team of the week card from this week at 83 overall. This is the card I will pick today and to be honest, I actually think this card could be good. The cheapest one currently on the auction house is for 80k coins. 83 overall cards are going for quite a lot just because there is a set out, so I don't think he's worth that much coins, but if you look at the stats, he's 6.5, his speed is 84, checking boost obviously, the synergies really don't matter for the goalkeepers, 65 aggression, 82 rebound control, speed, vision, endurance, agility, all looks quite good. I just don't know, I feel that this card could be good. 80,000 coins, first player. Welcome to the team. Next player will be a left-handed defenseman. And the defenseman I will be trying out is this 84 overall Noah Hannafan wildcard from Vegas Golden Knight. The cheapest one is 78k coins and the reason why I want to pick him is that he has 87 speed, 86 acceleration and 88 endurance. We really need players with high endurance and I just think that there is really not a lot of good players out there. Also 6.3 with shutdown, I actually believe this is a good defensive ability. The shooting may not be the best but his checking and defensive stats are okay for his overall. The reason why I don't really care about the shooting for defensemen, because in all honesty, any player can score a one tease from the point in this game, even a bronze player. So okay, now let's go and buy him for 78k coins and hopefully he turns out good. So now we have one more player left and in theory I could spend 140k because that's how much budget I have left. But you know, if there is a player which I want to try out and he's cheaper than that, then I don't see a reason why I should be overspending because all this is about to find the best and cheapest players. So the player I really want to try out as a forward will be this Ron Franz is 84 overall. I don't really remember when his milestone card was released and he's actually very cheap for the overall. The reason why I'm picking him is just, first of all, he have 86 face of stat, he's 6.3, not the smallest player. He also have tape to tape, not a lot of players really have tape to tape. I like the tape to tape ability and I just want to try it out. His speed is only 85, his acceleration is 84, shooting maybe not the greatest, but again, endurance is 89. I want to try as many players as I can with a high endurance to see if that actually makes any difference. I probably will play him in a so that 86 face of stat will actually probably help me out and because I really pass a lot with my sentence that tape to tape ability also should make a difference. So the cheapest one we found on the auction house is 40k so we will just go and buy him. 40k for that kind of card is so so cheap. So that's it we bought our players and I actually only spent 200k coins not 300k coins so I think for three players 200k coins and all of them are actually very decent at least on a paper I'm happy. Let's now go and put them in the team and go and play one rivals game. Just for this one game Logan Couture will be replaced with Ron Francis and he also straight away will become my first line center because every single player which I'm buying and trying out will always be the first line, the first center, the first pair defenseman, so on. So I replaced Sergei Gonchar with Noah Hannafin. I'm actually sure I'm pronouncing his surname wrong but like you know I don't know how to pronounce any of the surnames. And then we will replace Connor Hellebuck with the UPL. Just to make sure we don't miss it we will go and activate every single ability like Noah Hannafin will get the shutdown, Ron Francis will get tape to tape but our goalkeeper 
Keeper don't have any abilities, so unfortunately I cannot really activate anything on him. So I'll just go and spend the remaining of my abilities, and we are all set to go and play that Rivals game. Like I said, I will play some Rivals games, maybe one, maybe two, we'll see how it goes, because sometimes you can actually feel the taste of the player after one game, sometimes you really want to play more. If needed, I will even play three games if I'm not sure about the players. And that was quick, Road to 99 is facing someone with Panarin, Hisher and Pasternak. This will be a really hard game, so my goalie will need to step up. Mostly I just want to test out the goalies because every single episode we will be trying out a new goalie and it means maybe I will finally find a goalie for my own team. Let's see how good he's on the face-off, come on. Perfect. He's not the fastest for sure. I will not force to actually score with those players because I just don't think it's fair. Ooh, come on, this is the... Nice save, okay. UPL is doing great things. Already. Oh my god, that was a post. How did I miss that? Okay, now we have the second line on the ice. We just need our goalie to be big. And he is. Let's go. Okay, he isn't. He does let the same type of goals in as any other goalie. But the saves he was making before was actually decent. Let's say Hellebuck never really made a saves like that before. That's another reason you really need a good center where you can win a face of Stamkos is letting me down more and more. So I am slowly thinking of moving him to the wing instead of actually using him as a center. I was really impressed about Steven Stamkos at the beginning of the year, where now I just feel an oh my god, that was incredible save. That was probably the highlight reel. If that's not the play of the period, then I don't know what is. Oh my god, like seriously, like just go for the puck. Every single time I'm saying he's decent, he lets in a 1D. Not a single goalie will make a save on the 1Ts or the wrist shots from the close range, but some of the saves I'm still impressed how he plays. Pretty much like all the goals I'm letting in so far is because of my poor defense. Okay, after the first period we are down two goals, cannot blame my goalie for a single one. And also, he he's the play of the period. Absolutely deserved. You can see that energy is not going down that quickly for the players with high endurance. Nice, Hannafin. Let's go. Actually, he feels much, much faster. Oh, that usually would go in. I don't understand how Chara can feel so fast. Tarasenko, you're absolutely gassed. Nice poke check. UPL is impressive. Shut up, Dino. Okay, nice block, Stamkos. Hughes, you should have speed. Oh my god, Leonard! And say Jarvis missed that. And Stamkos also missed that, like absolutely disaster. And we didn't miss this one, Adam Fox delivers, so we are not down yet. Also, my new left-handed defenseman got a point. He probably feels the best player so far just because of like the speed. His stats didn't really indicate that he's that fast and he don't feel slower than, let's say, Zdeno Chara. Also, so far, happy with Ron Francis and how he's winning the face-offs. Okay, let's get my first line out. So, Ron Francis with a huge face-off win. That's what I need from him. And he didn't. I'm just missing on the counters. Let's go! That tape to tape! That's what I'm telling you guys. Tape to tape is just incredible ability. I don't know what it is about, but it just never miss a pass. Okay, another face-off win. I like that. So we are definitely not out yet. We have one more period and both of my players have one point each. So, hey, I think we find some good ones. Don't be a crybaby. Let's go. And we miss that. I'm trying to stay between the puck and the player. Just so he cannot pass. That was also a nice play. Stamkos. Oh, yeah, seriously, go for a change. Why not? If Panarin would not be my favorite player in the real life, I would never use his card. Let's go! Pierre-Luc Dubois as well with a huge goal. We have five minutes to survive. Can we do that, please? Please, EA? Don't get me EA'd. I probably will. Look, I'm letting in a goal by Marchand. You see, I can see the future. Happens every single time. Say so Jarvis, please. That was a huge save. Please don't let me down. That's a huge poke check. He'll go for 1T. Will he? Thank you, Fox. 
Oh, come on, Francis. Do they know Chara? Yager? Ooh, what? How did we score that? Let's go. I will definitely take that. And also, Ron Francis with his second point. Let's go. What a game, I will say. Actually impressed with every single player. UPL probably could play a little bit better, but I think for a goalie, you just need to give him a little bit more time. One game, I don't think really can say how good the player is because you can get lucky bounces or you can just be EA. Five games for me is usually what I can say. That's how long it takes for me to understand if the goalie is good or not, but I probably will keep him for a few more games and then I will just sell him. First of all, I want to look at my opponent's team. So he have Boomister, obviously Jager, the free Brent Marchand. He also have McKinnon, Pasternak, Kairou, Caden Gooley, Zdeno Chara, Crosby as well, and then Claude Giroux, Backlund, Roman Yossi, Jonathan, Aston Matthews, Artemi Panarin, and Nico Hischer. And also Drysdale with Makar as well. In the net, he's using Robin Leonard, so his save percentage wasn't the best. So now let's look at my players. So Rob Francis ended the game with two assists and plus two. Noah Hannafin ended up with uh, one assist and plus one. And UPL didn't really have the best save percentage as well, but he still won me a game. So the review of the players. Ron Francis, for his cost, I think he's a really good center. Uh, probably would only use him in a center because of his speed. And also you really pass more with your center instead of the wingers. For At least that's how I play the game. So considering we only spend little amount of coins, he's definitely worth the cost. Same about Noah Hannafin. I also think he's worth the coins. And considering how decent he played and he didn't really run out of energy that quickly, I also think he's worth the coins and worth picking up. Is he better than Chara or, I don't know, even Quinn Hughes? Probably not, but if you're looking for just trying out new players or you are just sick of facing or using the same players, he could be a good choice. For a goalkeeper, definitely he's not worth the cost. Probably, in my opinion, he would be worth no more than 50k, but unfortunately the 83 overall team of the week card cost quite a lot because of the trade-in set. If you pull him in a pack, don't trade him in, maybe use him for a few games and see how he plays out. He definitely plays better than base Hellebuck for me, so like I said, I probably will use him for the rest of my champs run and see how that goes and then after obviously i will sell him okay that's it for episode one of the budget bees let me know down in the comment sections below what do you think about the new youtube series me trying out new players and if there are any players in the budget range we discussed you want me to try out next sunday with that being said thanks for watching the first video and have a good one see you guys